Hello there! How we can create artificial general intelligence? I want to review four potential approaches to the solution of this problem. Let's start from the least possible approach and then gradually move to the most simplest and promising. And the first approach to AGI creation is a physical simulation. If we knew how the universe works, we could recreate a model of the Earth 4 billion years ago at the moment when life emerged and run the simulation till the present time. Natural selection in such world will do the rest. Then we could just copy the brain and use it without any understanding how it works. There are a couple flaws in this approach though. We have to wait 4 billion years if it's a real-time simulation. We don't have enough computational power to run this simulation in real-time, not mentioning x time faster. And we don't understand how the universe works. Other than that, it's a perfect plan, but we can optimize the process. For example, if we find a way to scan rough positions of atoms in our brain, or just neurons and all their connections, synopsis, it could be the solution. But it's too complex to build the scanner itself, and it will take decades of research and development. Another variation of this approach is to scan human DNA, run a simulation which unfolded, folds into proteins, and iteratively repeat this process, basically what the normal human cell does, until we construct the whole human body. In this case, maybe we won't require to run precise physical simulation, a rough one merged with the machine learning techniques will do the trick. It worth mentioning the connectome in this section. Connectome is a comprehensive map of neural connections in the brain, a sort of wiring diagram. We already have the full connectome for at least one animal, by the way. The nervous system of one type of roundworm comprises 302 neurons and a bit less than 1000 cells in total. There are several science projects which try to build a computer simulation of this roundworm at the cellular level, which among other things should help us to understand at which degree we should complicate neurons until the whole simulation is sufficiently close enough to the real roundworm. And if we would have a full connectome of the human brain, we could either simulate it without full understanding how it works. Or we could try to derive some knowledge of how intellect works out of this model. Second approach, evolvement of machine and deep learning techniques. I think this is how it will happen by the way, maybe there will be some insight which will allow us to build true AI with those evolved future machine learning techniques. Advancement of this field is pretty impressive. There are a couple flaws in this approach though. Attempts to generalize this whole thing, to make models universal and less narrow, makes such models slower and less effective. In benchmark, generalized models are expected to perform pretty poorly compared with the state-of-the-art narrow models. Such generalized models will make more errors and thus it will be harder to monetize it. All of this creates a sort of potential barrier which might be pretty challenging to overcome. Another flaw, time or order of events, doesn't affect the model or its output. Some modern machine learning techniques remind the hologram. Once the model is trained, like the picture is taken, we can watch the scene from different angles. Hologram will return good enough 3D representation of the scene at the moment of the snapshot. But the scene itself doesn't evolve over time, there is no way to interact with the model and it reminds a number moth. I guess unsupervised deep learning techniques try to partially address this, but we need more insights like autoencoders and generative adversarial networks specifically. Those are pretty impressive. Third approach, genetic algorithms. We can create a set of logical or intelligent primitives candidates to building blocks of intelligence. For example, digital neurons with a small set of parameters, directed links or synapse connections between them, which can inhibit or excite the head neuron if tail is spiked. Then we need to combine those primitives, combine the combinations of those primitives and pass this sort of program to the next generations. Then we need to come up with the fitness function, so we can run evolution in terms of genetic algorithms, which will hopefully converge to something meaningful. If we run millions of evolutions and try to compare the results, we probably will find some interesting patterns there. And along the way we can create and throw in new types of primitives to make the whole environment more versatile. This approach requires a bunch of computational resources and thus pretty expensive. But in case if you have some resources, I would recommend to mine some insights with this approach first since it's a very straightforward one. And the first approach I call deriving the first of fundamental principles of natural intelligence. I think this approach is the simplest one. Neuroscience already has a bunch of facts about our brain. Connectum once again can help a lot, but there are a couple issues with this approach too. Otherwise we would solve intelligence a long time ago. First issue, it's even hard to understand where to start. 
how to choose the vector of attack on this problem, and even if we choose some direction, it's hard to tell whether the direction is right and we are getting closer to the goal or not. Second issue with this approach, maybe there are no first principles of intelligence at all, it just works somehow and there are a bunch of spaghetti code there. Or there are so many of these principles that there is no point to derive anything at all. And the third dish, imagine that there are let's say five principles, but you need all of them to work at once to get this synergy effect we know as intelligence. And if we miss any of these parts, there will be no magic. As for me, I suggest to start with the force approach and try to derive these fundamental principles first. And I encourage you to think that this problem is rather simple than complex. At least it always like this before the start. I've been working in software engineering for almost 20 years and elaborated a sort of framework which helps me to solve such kind of problems. It's not applicable to all possible domains, but for this specific problem it should be. It helps to understand how the system works. And in a few words, this framework can be described like this. From a bunch of facts, derive or guess first principles by induction. Try to rebuild system, build a model and infer known and not yet known facts back by deduction, tweaking the first principles along the way. And then try to validate these new facts against the initial system. Repeat this process as many times as you want and at the end if the number of tweaks is relatively low, then we probably guess our first principles correctly. And there are a couple of techniques which helps to reduce the scope of candidates to first principles. I understand that it sounds very abstract, so in order to illustrate or give you a sort of taste of this framework, in the next video I will demonstrate the first iteration of it. We will try to apply it to a not yet solved problem. We will try to derive the first principle of the universe itself, since it's much simpler than intelligence as for me. I don't do physics professionally, and the solution most probably will be wrong. Garbage in, garbage out, right? It's a very naive attempt, but it will demonstrate how the framework works. And it will give you a very intuitive understanding of the universe itself. After all, one of the main goals of this framework is getting the intuition behind the processes. And after the demo, I'm going to share how the framework works in detail. I want to give you an intuitive understanding of the framework itself. It's not a silver bullet, but I personally find it applicable to a wide variety of different domains. So I hope it can be useful for you too, since it's more like a mindset. After we get this tool in our toolbox, we will be ready to dig something interesting out of the natural intelligence. I will share two candidates for fundamental principles of natural intelligence, which I've got with this framework. And at this point, it looks like there should be around five principles total. Then we will try to build a model out of these candidates, and we will see whether it works or not. It worth noting that I'm not specialist in neuroscience either, so the quality of these candidates is comparable with the quality of the candidate from the next video, please keep it in mind. And depending on the amount of the resources by that time, I hope we will be able to try to mine something with the third approach, and maybe there will be some insights from the second approach and the first one, we'll see. Meanwhile, please consider to subscribe, if you liked the video, feel free to give it a like. Please leave a comment, maybe I forgot to mention some other approaches, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!